Welcome to ProStitcher Lite, a brand new robotic quilting system. With it, you can turn your long arm into a machine that will do the quilting for you. Quilt the perfect designs every time with ProStitcher Lite. We are so excited for you to get started. Learning how to use ProStitcher Lite can be a little overwhelming at first, but you've got this. And we're here to help you through every step. Feel free to pause, go back, or rewatch any parts of this video you need as we go along. The first thing to do is to ensure your frame, long arm machine, and ProStitcher Lite are installed and set up properly. You can work with your retailer or use the Built app if you need any help installing the ProStitcher Lite system. Don't forget to load a quilt top, batting, and backing to practice on. Also, remember to check your thread tension before we get started. Next, switch on the ProStitcher Lite carriage, your long arm machine, and the Pro Stitcher Lite tablet. The, the tablet may take a few minutes to start up. That's okay. The Pro Stitcher Lite software should automatically launch when the tablet is ready. This is the main screen. We'll briefly go over each section as well as some other important things you'll want to keep in mind. Don't worry too much about what everything is right now. We'll go into more details as we set up your first design to quilt. Tabs. Tabs run across the top of the screen. Selecting one of these tabs changes the buttons found on the ribbon and in the sidebar. Ribbon. Buttons on the ribbon are directly underneath the tabs and change depending on which tab is selected. Only one button on the ribbon can be selected at a time. The sidebar is on the right side of the screen. It changes depending on which tab and button are selected and often gives more options when using a particular tool. Quick Access Toolbar. The Quick Access Toolbar is on the left side of the screen and is where you'll find commonly used tools. After you become comfortable with ProStitcher Lite, you can customize this toolbar according to your needs. This is also where you'll find the Undo and Redo buttons. Anytime you make a mistake, feel free to use the Undo button to backtrack your progress and try again. If you go too far, just use the Redo button. Workspace Toolbar. The tools in the Workspace Toolbar can change your view of the screen or design. The Select tool from this toolbar is automatically selected. The crosshairs in the middle of your screen represent your long arm needle. As you move your machine around, you'll notice the crosshairs also move. In addition, there are three important buttons you'll want to be aware of. Refresh. This button refreshes the view of the screen so that the design, area, and crosshairs are all on the screen. Baseline. After you're done making changes to your design, use Baseline to freeze your design as is at any point in the design modification process, essentially locking in your design choices. Remember that using Baseline does not save your design. To do that, you'll have to go through the save process, which we will go through later. Help. If you forget some, what something is on the screen, select the Help button. This will give you a short description of the tool when you tap it, so it's perfect to use when you are first learning the software. Don't be afraid to play around with it after this tutorial. To stop the prompts from popping up, simply press the Help button again so it is no longer selected. For an on-screen user manual, select the Information tab and click Help on the ribbon. Now that you've had some time to get to know the layout, let's make sure you have the most up-to-date version of the software. Go to the information button in the upper right side of the screen. Then click the about button on the ribbon. A box will pop up in the middle of the screen. Check the version number and make note of it. Write it down if you feel like you need to. Next, using a laptop or computer with an internet connection, go to the website on the screen. Click the ProStitcher Lite tab and view the number listed on the latest version. If the number on the ProStitcher website matches the version number you checked on your ProStitcher Lite tablet, your software is up to date. If the number is different, you'll want to go through the following steps to update your software. Get the USB drive that came with your ProStitcher Lite system. A different USB drive may be used if needed. 
plug it into a USB port on your computer. Download the latest version on the website. Go to the File Explorer on your computer. Open the Downloads folder. Locate the ProStitcher Lite file. Right click and select Extract All. Move or copy the files over to the USB drive. Make sure the files aren't in any subfolders, meaning the files are visible when you open your USB drive. Eject the USB drive from your computer and plug it into an open USB port on your Postager Lite tablet. When the Postager Lite tablet is on and the software is open on the tablet, click the File tab and select Update on the ribbon. Tap to select the update you wish to install. When the ProStitcher Lite Update screen appears, select Start. Continue to follow all the on-screen prompts until the software installation is complete. Restart the tablet and your quilting machine before attempting to use Postitcher Lite. Once your quilting machine is turned back on and your tablet has restarted, you're ready to set up a design to be quilted. The first thing you need to do is set up a frame space. This step is very important. If there isn't a frame space available, Postitcher Lite won't know where it needs to quilt. Select the Area tab. On the ribbon, select Frame Space. Move your quilting machine to the top left corner of your frame. Note the crosshairs on your ProStitcher tablet may be out of view when you do this. That's okay. We'll reset the view so that you can see the entire frame space when we're done. In the sidebar, press the two corner button. Move your machine to the bottom right corner of your frame space. And press the two corner button again. Press the Refresh to Frame Space button located in the bottom right corner of the ProStitcher screen. You should see a red rectangle. This is your frame space. Now that your frame space is set up, it's time to pick a design to quilt. Select the File tab. On the ribbon, select Design and then Open. On the left side of the window that pops up, you'll see a folder labeled Designs. Make sure that the folder is selected and then click to open the folder labeled PS Designs. You'll notice that these designs are grouped by type. We're going to choose one from the Blocks folder, so tap on it. On the right side, you'll see a selection of block designs to choose from. We recommend selecting something simple, like the six petal flower for your first try. Once you've picked a design, tap to select it so that it is highlighted and then click the open button in the bottom right corner of the window. The design will be placed on the ProStitcher Lite screen. Note, the design may not open within the frame space initially. That's okay. We will move the design in the next section. The lines of the design are thin and black, but you'll also see a red and green circled X's. They may even overlap. These are not part of the design that will be quilted, but they show you where your machine will start and stop stitching. Now we need to set up an area. Pick a spot on your practice quilt to start with. We're going to be working within about a three inch square, but it's okay if the area you want to set up is a different size. Select the Area tab. 
Move your machine to one of the points of your chosen area on your quilt. Remember the crosshairs on your tablet represent your machine's needle position. Select multipoint. This will place a pink square on the screen marking your first point. Move your machine to the next point of your area and select multipoint again. Continue doing this until you have a completed shape with pink lines on the Pro Stitcher Lite tablet. No, you don't have to make another point to close the shape. For example, if you are making a square, you only have to make four points. The Pro Stitcher Lite software will automatically close the area to complete the shape. Press the refresh button located in the bottom right corner of the screen. This will center your area and your design on your screen. The next step is to modify the design to fit within the area. Select the modify tab and click align on the ribbon. Go to the sidebar on the right and select the center button near the top of the sidebar. This will align your design both horizontally and vertically. If you want, you can also rotate the position of your design. Click the rotate button on the ribbon and go to the sidebar. You can choose from a few different rotation options. When you are done making changes to the rotation, select baseline either from the ribbon or the quick access toolbar. Baseline freezes your design as is so that it's ready to quilt. Remember that this does not save your design. We'll go through those steps in a minute. Once a design has been baseline, you can still make changes to it, but you may find that you're not able to modify something that you wanted to. That's why it's important to wait until you are done making changes before using the baseline button. If this happens, just use the undo button until you see undo baseline in the upper right corner of the screen, and you'll be able to make normal changes to your design again. When you are done, don't forget to click baseline again to freeze the changes. Select resize on the ribbon and tap the lock button near the top of the sidebar to lock the aspect ratio. This makes it so the width and the height of the designer change at the same time. Go to the bottom of the sidebar and use the plus and minus buttons until the design fits entirely within the pink shape. Select either baseline from the ribbon or the quick access toolbar when you are done making changes. If desired, save your design. Make sure your design has dark lines instead of faded lines. This indicates that it is selected. Go to the file tab, select save, then tap selected. We recommend naming the file something different so that you don't save over your original design file. This will save only your design because that is the only thing it's selected. This will not save your area. You will have to save that separately. Go to the Pro Stitcher tab. If you need to base the sides of your quilt, you can do that now. Click on the settings tab and select the stitches per inch icon. On the sidebar, change the SPI or stitches per inch. We recommend four SPI for a basting stitch. Next, move your machine to the top left corner of your quilt. Select the horizontal channel lock icon on the quick access toolbar, or by going to the Pro Stitcher tab, clicking on the channel lock icon and selecting horizontal from the sidebar. Use the start stop button on your handlebars to start stitching across the top of the fabric. The channel lock allows you to stitch a straight line and won't veer up or down while the horizontal channel lock is on. made your way across the top of your fabric, turn off the horizontal channel lock and turn on 
the vertical channel lock. Remember that you can access the channel lock tools from the quick access toolbar or from under the Pro Stitcher tab. Stitch from the top of your quilt down the side until you reach the end of your throat space. Clip your threads and repeat on the other side. Once you're done basting your quilt, go back to the settings tab and change the stitches per inch back to your preferred setting. A standard setting for quilting is between 10 and 12 stitches. The next step is to prepare Pro Stitcher Lite to quilt. While under the Pro Stitcher tab, make sure the quilt icon is selected. Go to the sidebar and select pull up on and start in for tie offs. This gives you a chance to pull up your bobbin thread before Pro Stitcher Lite stitches out your chosen design. Click the run button found in the lower left corner of the screen. Next, verify your settings and make sure your needle is up. When you're ready, click proceed. The machine will move into place and make one stitch. Remember the machine moves to the start point on the design, not where your area begins. Hold the tail of the top thread and move the machine a few inches away from the stitch spot. You should see the bobbin thread poking through. Grasp that thread so that you are holding both the top and bobbin threads in your hand. Click resume. The machine will move back to the starting place and continue stitching out the design. After a few stitches, you may clip the top and bottom threads. When Pro Stitcher Lite is done stitching, use the needle up down button on your machine to bring the bobbin thread up again and clip your threads. To get ready to set up another design, go to the File tab and select clear all from the ribbon. This clears the design and the area, but not the frame space. So you won't need to reset your frame space again for your next design. Congratulations, you just stitched out your first design with Pro Stitcher Lite. It's quite an accomplishment, so feel free to brag about it to your family and friends. For more educational content and videos, check out the Pro Stitcher website under the Pro Stitcher Lite section. Don't forget that you can come back to this video anytime you feel like you need a refresher on Pro Stitcher Lite.